What's going on everyone? Suresh here, 221B Tactical. Today we are going over how to properly fit and put on a dog harness onto your dog. Sounds pretty simple, however, so many people have questions about how to properly put the harness on their dog and how to properly fit it. So first we're gonna go over how you are going to measure for the harness so you make sure that you get the right size harness. So uh, today we're gonna use, for an example, our Artemis canine harness, 100% breathable, uh, no tug, no pull, uh, no choke uh, harness. It has uh, multiple lead points, front on the chest and two on the top. So a uh, whole separate video on that, but this is the harness we're going to use. Very similar to a lot of the harnesses out there. However, you see this is made with our Max Dry mesh, so it's 100% breathable and has a few features uh, and uh, it fits differently than some of the harness that may look like this. But let's talk about sizing. So there's two areas when you are purchasing a harness like this that you want to measure. That's the neck area and the girth of the dog's body, the main body. So up, 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 Live. Turn. Can you turn? Can you turn? Good boy, sit. Okay, so you want to measure the neck area here as the first measurement. And then you wanna measure the girth area here. So you could just take a tape measure and do that to measure the girth and the neck. Once you have that set, then you could order, oh, thank you for the kiss. Then you could order the proper size dog harness. This is a medium uh, Artemis harness. And of course you guys gotta check the measurements of the dog and you gotta measure, uh, of course, the weight of the dog. Uh, Titan here is about 75 pounds. He's not even two years old yet, so he's still technically a puppy. And um, I have his neck measurements and his girth measurements, which led me to purchase, well, of course I didn't purchase it when you own the company, uh, uh, the medium Artemis harness, okay? So first thing I do is I tell people, release the side buckles uh, along the girth area and keep the chest uh, neck area buckles in place. Don't uh, don't undo them. So I'm going to undo this, undo this, and slide it right over the dog's head. Okay. So you're going to slide that right over the dog's head. It's on. And then you want to feed this between their front legs. Up, up, up. Slide. So you're going to feed this in between their front legs. And you're going to install this side buckle. Thank you for that kiss. You're being so kind. All right, okay, so turn. So now you see the side buckles are uh, in place. You wanna make sure, of course, you get all the material flat and you see how beautifully it rests there. Now, you'll see some excess strap here. I haven't cut these straps yet because uh, I'm afraid Titan is gonna keep growing. So for the time being, I just tuck them in and there's a little elastic uh, band on this harness that I could show you right here where you can tuck this in. And I just tuck it in for the time being. Now what you wanna do is once the dog is full grown in size, Bly, once the dog is full grown in size, you can actually take scissors and cut that. But when you do cut it, make sure you sear the edge with a, hold a little lighter to it so the edge doesn't fray. Plots. So when you see here, you'll have a little bit of space between uh, this part of the harness and this top part usually about an inch or two. You don't want it overlapping. If it's overlapping, it's most likely too big. Also, if it's too far apart, it's likely too small. So this is the measurement to check, no more than a couple of inches in between here, two to three inches. You adjust the strap, and there's of course the loop system to make sure the, snap, uh, the strap doesn't move, and then you're good to go. Make sure both sides are even, of course, and then you do the same thing over here. Make sure the gap is even on both sides, the right and left side. Excess strap you could tuck in until the dog is full grown. Once the dog is full grown, go ahead and uh, you can trim that strap and hit it with that lighter and you're good to go. You'll see how I have this adjusted so I could fit a couple of fingers in here. It's not too loose, but it's also not so tight that it's suffocating the dog. Um, I wanna make sure that it is snug so in the event I have to pull him back, um, it's not, I'm not pulling a whole, I don't have a whole lot of slack before I uh, actually pull on. You see here with just a little bit 
uh, there's a little bit of give and then he starts moving. So that's exactly how you want it. Uh, you see there's two lead points here. So you could attach the leash here or here. And there's also one on the chest so you could attach it here. That's for uh, when dogs are pulling heavy and that prevents them from that heavy pull when you have it here because if they pull there, it actually turns them around. So plenty of training videos out there on that as well. Of course, uh, you want to make sure that the dog is comfortable. So make sure you don't have any uh, uh, flaps tucked in or anything like that, anything that's causing pressure on the dog's skin. And that is really it. It's that simple. Now, I always recommend to people when you're first putting the harness on the dog and fitting it to the dog, do it inside your house or do it in your backyard that is fenced in and closed off because as you're fitting this, you wanna let the dog get comfortable with it. So when I first get the harness, what I do is I put it on, but I put it on intentionally very loose. So I just kind of put it on and tighten the straps down just a little bit and let them run around in it. Then I have bring them in and I adjust the straps a little bit more, let them run around, get used to it a little bit more, and then once again, bring them in and tighten them down to the final area where I want, where I feel like that's gonna be how it's gonna be fitting for him. Tighten those straps down, lock the straps down, and that's it, you're good to go. Just gives them ability to get used to it and you're in a controlled environment. You don't wanna have it so that the harness is so loose that it actually they can pull themselves out of it uh, of any way. This is a very, by, by design, this would be a very difficult harness for that to happen in. However, it has happened with other types of harnesses uh, and of course with collars. So uh, be mindful of that when you are fitting the harness to the dog. Just do it in a controlled environment so you can control the dog in the, in the event that they do slip out of it. Other than that, you are set to go. This type of harness is great for training, especially if you have a dog that is tugging, pulling, and you're afraid of the collars that it's gonna cause choking. So this is the anti-tug, anti-pull, anti-choke uh, remedy, if that's your concern. Great for training, of course, with the 100% breathable max dry mesh. No other harness out there featuring that. It's one of a kind in the marketplace. You have the ability to have 100% airflow going through the vest while you still have the integrity of a traditional dog harness. So very important if your dog's comfort is important to you, which of course, if you have your dog, they're like family, they're like your children. So it is something that you wanna be mindful of. Their comfort is paramount. So that's really it. If you have any other questions about how to size for the dog harness or how to fit the dog harness to your dog, go ahead and drop a comment below. Uh, either myself or one of the team members will reach out to you. Um, if you have any questions about the Artemis canine harness, uh, we'll put a link uh, down below for you to click on. You could see uh, videos that were made just for this harness going through all the different things. And uh, you'll also uh, learn more about it, all the specs of the harness and the features and benefits of the harness will all be there. So we'll put that link there uh, down below as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Say bye Titan, can you say bye? Can you say bye? Okay, he says bye. All right, take care guys.